counted out early in the war, but still going strong. Against all the odds, Russia has not managed to ground Ukraine's air force. We spoke to fighter pilot Andriy, who was in an undisclosed location and hiding his identity for safety reasons. At first, Russian pilots dominated in quantity of fighters and newer equipment. Now they're starting to refuse to fly because we're shooting them down. We try to work with tactics. Andriy says he flies an Su-27 air superiority fighter. This is video provided by the Ukrainian military of the same model, an older plane, but one that's still effective. I shot down Russian planes. Unfortunately, I cannot say which and how many and how exactly I shot them down. Air-to-air -air missiles, ground-to-air missiles were repeatedly fired at me. There was a flight when we flew three against 24. It means our three fighters repelled the attack of their 24 aircraft. It's impossible for us to verify those claims, but during our interview we heard what seemed to be a Ukrainian jet taking off. Andriy says the U.S. helped teach him and his fellow airmen how to beat the Russians. We have our tactics. We conducted the clear sky exercise with our American friends. We now are using some of the tactics we learned from the Americans. The U.S. and its allies initially believed Russia would own the skies over Ukraine just days after their invasion. But the spokesman for Ukraine's Air Force says they were ready. We've been preparing for this scenario for eight years. It cannot be said that our military did not think this would not happen. We've destroyed 100 aircraft and 123 helicopters already. A lot of Russian aircraft have been taken down by shoulder-launched missiles supplied by Western allies. But the Ukrainians also still operate longer-range systems like the S-300. The Air Force spokesman says Ukraine wants Western missiles and U.S. jets. I'm talking about NATO integrated air defense systems, an F-15 Eagle or F-16 Fighting Falcon. They may be unused or decommissioned ones, but they could serve the Ukrainian military. For Andriy, the battle for the skies over Ukraine is personal. Both his mother and his wife are helping in the effort to fend off the Russians, he says. And that he too is willing to sacrifice. Everyone's afraid of being killed. It's one thing to die with honor. Another thing is to die without honor. The U.S. has said Ukraine's Air Force remains largely intact and combat ready. The battle for the skies, another area where this outgunned nation is persevering against all odds.